on the ancient theater of Herod Atticus in Athens, Greece. The 1973 Miss Universe Beauty Pageant. So let's welcome all of the beautiful delegates in this 22nd annual pageant as we present the 1973 Miss Universe Parade of Nations. Miss Philippines voted most photogenic in the pageant. Later in the show, our 12 semi-finalists will participate in the official swimsuit competition. But earlier in the week, during a boat trip around the beautiful Greek islands, we taped this year's delegates in their Catalina swimsuits, and I know you are going to enjoy it. Here they are, the Miss Universe Beauty Delegates for 1973 on a swimsuit holiday. Miss Philippines. And now it's time to learn which 12 lucky young ladies will go on to compete as semi-finalists on the way to the Miss Universe title. The fourth name on the list is Miss Philippines. There they are, our 12 semi-finalists in the Miss Universe beauty pageant for 1973. moments to meet our 12 semi-finalists. Miss Philippines does know English, and uh, your name is? Margarita Moran. And what would you like to do, Margarita? Later? Yes, as a job. Uh, I'd like to be a banker. A banker? Why a banker? Well, uh, first, I'd like to follow my father's footsteps because he's a banker. And uh, besides that, I'm taking up a course in business administration, which is courses in uh, banking and finance. And I like counting money. You like counting money? What would you do with the $10,000 if you win in the Miss Universe pageant? Uh, I'd invest it. Um, probably I'd build up a hotel. A hotel? Yes, and I'll run a business and my sister will manage it because she's taking up business uh, hotel management in school. You know, I think I've made a discovery. This girl could be the Onassis of the Philippines before she's through. Thank you very much, Miss Philippines. Yes. Let's greet our 12 semi-finalists in the Miss Universe Swimsuit Competition for 1973. Miss Philippines. Maria Margarita Moran. She has dark brown hair and dark brown eyes. Five feet, six inches tall and weighs 116 pounds. And there you have the 1973 Miss Universe Swimsuit Competition. Judges, we introduce the 1973 Miss Universe Evening Gown Competition. Miss Philippines. The judges have had a chance to see our 12 semi-finalists in swimsuits and in evening gowns, and now it's their job to narrow the competition from 12 girls to five. So we're going to give the judges one last chance for a close-up review of the candidates. You, too, might want to make a note of the five girls you think should go on to become finalists tonight. Here they are once more, our 12 semi-finalists for 1973. Miss Philippines. most exciting moment of this evening has arrived. Our judges have chosen the five finalists who will go on to compete for the Miss Universe title. The ballots have been marked. Our accountants have tabulated them, and they have compiled a list of five lucky delegates. Now, may I have that list, please, Miss Hospitality? Thank you. 
These are the five girls who will go on to compete for the title of Miss Universe. The second girl is a girl who's been one of your favorites all evening long. She is Miss Philippines. <laughs> Congratulations, finalists. We have now reached the final phase of tonight's competition. A chance for our judges to watch all of our Miss Universe finalists in an informal answer and question situation. Now, each of these five finalists will be asked a question of general interest. We are not trying to test their knowledge. We are not trying to test their education. We only want to give the judges one last chance to review their impressions and refresh their memories of last week's interviews. Now, Miss Philippines, this is the remaining question. This question is for you. Your question is, let's make believe that all of a sudden, this is a perfect question for her. Let's make believe that all of a sudden you had a million dollars. What's the first thing you would buy, and why would you buy it? A house and lot. Because it's the most expensive thing, and I can't afford it. So if I had a million bucks, I'll buy a house and lot and live by myself <laughs> and other people, of course. Thank you very much, Miss Philippines. We have the five names here. And as I said, this is the most important announcement of the evening. This is the announcement we've been waiting for all evening long. We have our four runners up and we have Miss Universe of 1973. And I will begin with the runners up. Good luck to all of you. They're not in alphabetical order. The fourth runner up for the title of Miss Universe is Miss Israel. <laughs> The third runner up is Miss Spain. Miss Spain. The second runner up is Miss Norway. become Miss Universe of 1973. The other is the first runner-up, and the position of first runner-up is very important because if for any reason Miss Universe could not fulfill her responsibilities, the first runner-up would be Miss Universe. Now, girls, the first runner-up is Miss USA, Miss Philippines, is Miss Universe. Bob Barker thanking you for joining us on television in the United States. Good night, everyone. <laughs>